Okay, anyway, you, you, you can read this if you want. Novaria is a small, frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. This is a fun planet. And if you guys listening ever need a voiceover, I am available. Katomics at gmail.com. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. And hey, what? Excuse me, Joker? Standard. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, cold reception. Fitting, considering the climate. Um, and Would you chill out with the ice puns? We'll figure out the... Uh, the story what's going on here on uh, Novaria what's uh, what's what's going down why everyone's being a little Equalizing bit weird Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore exo presley has the deck ooh time to break out the ice cream <laughs> ice cream social today man they got security cameras watching us holy crap this port, by the way, does match the design of the one on Pharaoh. So a little, no, it doesn't actually. It's completely customized. I noticed those, uh, those, that little platform up there. You see it? Mm -hmm. it looks like a really. I don't think it's. That's the far same. enough. Um, can I help you? Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Uh, I'm with the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Yeah, no. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. <laughs> I'm keeping my gun, thanks. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Well, this is a fun place. All right. I think Lady Brienne's latest gig isn't that great. She was probably better off Who's trucking Lady... around princes. Who's Lady Brienne? That's a Game of Thrones reference. Oh, I never watched that. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. The blonde-haired girl looked like a prettier version of a character from Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Uh, well, she got us through, so I'm, I'm going to be cool with her. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Yeah, what's my what's my orientation? Would, Pretty you, heavy would you like to get to letter, together board. later is what I'm asking? Apparently very badly, I can't board pronounce does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not really here for them, though. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Are there Geff here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here? <laughs> Let's not say that with Liara standing right there. Um, <laughs> I kind of need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 Research Complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Um, I'll need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? 
You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Okay. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. Can you get me her autograph? <laughs> Liara, she's your mother. I think we've already been over this. I can trust Liara with her mom. They haven't talked in like a really long time. It's really obvious that she's not working with Saren, so. Yeah. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Liara, you're my homie. I would do anything for you. All right, um... I think we need to go in here. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. We definitely don't manufacture zombies here. You are required to I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure that's personnel. just Pharos. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, there's a lot of bigwigs in this port. We're gonna see a lot of business people. Oh god. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Yep. Sure, whatever. This is a story. <laughs> <laughs> of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Give me upgrades. Um Ooh, frictionless materials. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely wanting to take that. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna sell the rest of this crap. I don't need any of this. Get out of here. Give me the monies. Get rid of the monies. Okay. This no, one offers greetings. Make sure. sure whatever. Yeah, of so. course. This. Tally might be able to get an armor upgrade while she's here. Explorer 8. Hell yes! That's awesome. We'll you that. don't have the credits. What? That's my credit count. And that's how much they cost. You had 100,000 and it cost 900,000. Did I just flip those numbers in my head? I think you did. Okay. I'm rubbing off this on one you. Apparently. Greetings. You are the specter that my, I've already had enough of that for Monty of Python course. and me mixing up threes and fives. I can't afford to start mixing up every other number that there is. Okay, we can buy a couple of those. Um, let me compare my armor with this one. Mine's got better shields, and that's all I care about, so I think we're good. Let's shoot the fuck out of this jellyfish. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Give Tally her new armor. Oh, that's sexy. That's a nice color scheme. Okay, that's that's cute on her. Damn. Um. Um. What else did we buy? Oh yeah, we bought fric frictionless materials. I need to put these in my um. In my thing. More specifically, I need to put them right there. That's the best. That's the best thing I can put in my assault rifle, if I remember right, because that allows me to shoot basically nonstop. Um, on the other hand, putting the rail extension in my sniper rifle is really good. So now, basically, if I remember what fric frictionless materials do, you can see how slowly that's going up. Basically, I can just fire forever. And I don't have to worry about my uh, assault rifle overheating anymore. Which is optimal. It's very good. Um, if I put cryo rounds in there, they would never overheat, like, ever. But I don't really care about my sniper rifle overheating, because it fires so slowly anyway that there's enough time between shots for it to cool down. So, I'm going to try to make my sniper rifle overheat on purpose, actually, at some point. Alright, let me look at the map of this place. Um... The elevator to the docking bay, and we just came from there. The elevator to the hotel. Synthetics insights. Oh, whoops. Fuck. Um, administration office. Oh. Whoops. So it's back 
this way down there I think is right I think that sounds right I really like this place I like the design of this place it's really like sort yeah. of hot springy and modern and kind of yeah this like is a like a deluxe outer space colony this is cool I I like the look of it I'm kind of wondering what the point of it being this big is considering there's just so many open spaces where there isn't a lot going on but for the atmosphere of it it actually makes sense compared to the cramped duplicated hallways we've been going through the last few hours how can I help you uh, where's mr. guy I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Analeas, yes, Analeas. Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. He's totally a Salarian, isn't he? Here's Shepard. Yup, he's a Salarian. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! Watch your mouth exactly, yes. Funny thing about humans, we're pretty loyal to our home world. My home world is clean. Poverty is non existent. If you take some perverse pride in that overheated, acid washed slum, that is your business. This guy's gonna die at some courtesy. point. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Um, so you think I'm a threat, I guess? To that. Actually, yeah, isn't lack of oversight risky? Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Yes. Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Define personal escort. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Fuck. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What kind of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. No! Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. Do you know why she's here? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Mm, another topic. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Okay, get the fuck out of here. I have no more questions at this time. But Tally's just standing Good. there. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Well, I hate that guy. It would be awesome to, like... Pop a cap on his ass. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Uh?